there are certain things, and I actually created a list of like the, the things that we know, um, like we're looking for, for, uh, for in someone. Like um, I made the mistake of hiring uh, agents on my team that they, their income was the second income of the household. Like they didn't actually need to make money. And so that, that never has worked out for me. You know, someone, I need them to come in and do the work necessary, you know, the actual work of a, of a, of a salesperson and time block and make calls and track numbers and like the predictable part of building a business. If you have someone that like their, their spouse is out making multiple six figures and they have insurance through them, and this is kind of a, a side gig, they're not going to do those things. And they're kind of, kind of show up, ha- you know, halfway for things and, uh, they don't really need it um, necessarily. So that's one one big thing. And then I would say for for my business, it was you know someone that wants to make you know six figures or multiple six figures. Uh, and in my market, that's that's really good compensation. We had a path to get agents to 150 plus of take home money um, by their second full year on our real estate team, like an actual step by step plan. We actually have it as part of Real Estate B School now. Um, uh, but you know, what, what is driving them, you know, to want to make money? Like, do they actually, are they motivated by making more money? You know, and a lot of people are not motivated. They think they want to be in real estate and they want to join a team to take off some of the heavy lifting, but they're not actually motivated to go out and make a lot of money. You need salespeople that are financially motivated. It sort of sounds stupid saying, but so many people hire someone like, from their like book club or from their church group or like they just seem like a nice person they have their real estate license they're going to be on my team and it's going to be great and there's no structure there's no cadence whatsoever um and we're just hoping that somehow they're going to work out uh we want to hire people another thing is that they they have demonstrated uh, a track record of achievement and i don't actually care what the achievements are you, you can ask them a straight question, like, what are the, you know, the, the last three major achievements, you know, you've, you've um, set out to sort of knock down or achieve the last three big goals that you wanted to achieve and how you went about achieving them, right? And that actually reveals if they, they actually are setting goals, if they're challenging themselves, if they're sacrificing in any way to make their life different in the future than it is today. And those are the kind of people that you want um, you want in your business. Uh, last thing I'll share is that, you know, folks that understand real estate is not a nine to five, you know, and folks that have the ability, the capacity, um, whether through a support system or they're not attached to, you know, kids or, or spouse or, um, you know, folks that can actually work the hours of a real estate agent evenings and weekends, right? Are you willing to put in, you know, for a couple of years, 60 hour work weeks, so that you can get to a level of income that is far beyond any of your peers. You know, we'll tell that to someone who's like, you know, in their late twenties, like you have the ability to make multiple six figures here, but it's not going to come out of the gate. You need to double down for a couple of years. And in that third year, you, you will earn more, um, twice as much as all your friends are earning, you know, cause they, they, if they're competitive, they want to, they want to know that they're going to be earning more than their friends.